Woke up early this morning in Shanghai, hopped on a bullet train, five hours, up to Beijing to play the ducks. Fuck the ducks! Last time I was here, the Marbury statue was the only one outside. But since Marbury left the ducks, they, they did the guy dirty. They built another statue that's like six times as big, right next to his statue. Listen, I hate Mabuli just as much as the next guy, but he brought you guys three championships. You don't just go and fucking build a gigantic statue next to his. The Ducks have always been a pretty shysty club. I mean, just look at their arena. Nicest arena in the CBA, but one of the worst environments and atmospheres. But what type of fucking song is this? This is the Hokey Pokey. The, you guys are fucking dancing to the hokey pokey. Jesus Christ. No refreshments, no beers. Pijo? No, no beer. They have big signs that say we serve pizza. One pizza? No, no, no. No pizza, sorry. They don't serve pizza. Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah, you just confirmed what I already knew. This place is trash. So, you know, they might look good from the outside looking in, but once you get in there, it's not a great time. Oh, great. Like we need the fucking cheerleaders to be any younger. Now look at them. But today, today the Shanghai Shacks made the duck pond their little feeding ground. <laughs> Let's go, Shots! You're about to feel the wrath of Nick Menera! Welcome to Cape Cod, Beijing! We got Menera. He's from Cape Cod. There's actually a lot of great whites around Cape Cod these days, so it's, it's very fitting. I, I'm not gonna lie, first half. Wasn't looking great. Fucking number five on the ducks makes LeBron James look like he has flowing locks of long hair. Have you seen that guy's haircut? It looks like he's wearing a fucking crown of thorns like Jesus. Just has fucking nothing up top. That is rough, dude. The fact that you haven't fucking shaved your hair means you just are not a competent person. And that is not good. But then Minarath in the third quarter launched up a full court shot. <laughs> That tied it up going into the fourth. And once the fourth got kicked off, we were just lights out. Oh, you are out of your fucking mind. You are insane. I'm going to convert. I swear to God, you keep making shots like that, I will convert to Mormonism. My only complaint about the Sharks this year is that it's kind of just like Jimmer's team and they're like, hey Jimmer, shoot, shoot, shoot. And he throws up wild shots, a lot of them go in. But today, you know, he was passing too and the Chinese guys were actually sick of That is three three-pointers in a row. Not by Jimmer Fredette, not by Nick Menorath, but by just random Chinese players. I don't even know that guy's name. Maybe it's because I'm so fucking high up here, I can't even see what his number is. Shoelace went down at one point. I thought he was hurt. That was a really scary time because he's definitely like the soul of, of this team. He's, he's been with the team as long as I've been with the team. This guy's seven foot three, draining foul shots like he was six one. That's what I like in my sense. That's what I like in my sentence! Let's go, Max, walk it off! 
Yes. He got right back up, and I think he'll be he'll be back ready to go on Wednesday. Final score, uh, we won by like at least 10 or something. Awesome team effort, and I'm uh, I'm excited for Wednesday. Here we have the Shanghai Sharks fan club. What did you think about how well we played in the second half? You, you, you need, uh, we, we could uh, win this game at the Beijing. It's very, very, very difficult. We, we shouldn't have that we can win, but we, we did it, and we did it, man. <laughs> it is incredible. Everybody was making three pointers yeah. in the second half. Everybody on the team, we couldn't miss. Uh, it's the important thing that we made the three point. I mean, we, we make it rain. That's hey. all, that's all. We did it. Let's go, Shaxx.